Yes. What are you saying, Ying? You right? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Living Our Fast. Um, so you come down in your convertible M4? Yeah, it's a M4 F83. F uh, F83, right? Yeah. Carry a little bit more weight than the coupes, right? Yeah, yeah, just because of because of uh, the uh, the roof. Done a lot of M cars. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I see this so, one's looking a little different, right? Yeah. So this is a, a stage two uh, wrench tuned uh, car. It's got a uh, Armitrix uh, full uh, sh straight pipe Armitrix exhaust. Yeah. And Gintani downpipes. It's running about five, six, three brake horsepower and almost six hundred foot pounds of torque. That's a lot of torque, that is. Yeah. It, That's a good so much torque. I don't know, mate. It, the wrenches work their magic, and it's just so talky. Off the line, it's, it tries to get traction, and, and yeah. it's, it's quite hard to get traction on it because because of all that talk. You reckon the wheel? You got some big wheels as well, haven't you? Yeah. So, thin, the, thin so, so these are uh, Brixton uh, forged two-piece. Uh, the, the rear 11J three uh, three oh fives at the rear, and I think two seven five at the front. I think. Okay. So you're saying traction's an issue, right? Yeah. Uh, the brake stock. Yeah, the brakes are stuck. I, I, the only thing I've, I've done is it's got, got them colour coded. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I've got on, on the engine bay, I've got um, SSR intakes and BMS charge pipes. The body kit, the, the, rear, the rear diffuser is a, a PSM dynamic. Okay. And the front is PSM dynamic and, and the sides are uh, APR racing, uh, all from America. Right. And uh, dual clutch transmission, notice you've got a lot of carbon as well. Yes, yeah, so dual clutch, clutch transmission, uh, got the M performance steering wheel. Yeah. It's just carboned and, and, and Alcantara it out. This is fully spec, man. So it's um, obviously I drove DMO. Do you know DMO DJ? Yeah. I had a little go in his. I think his was maybe just a stage one. No, it was a, I don't know. Did I think his, his, one, his one was stage two, uh, uh, a HCP as well. Yeah. But uh, I think all he had on his was uh, downpipes. Uh, yeah. So. Um, Would it have been Gintani as well? Or? Pardon? Would it have been Gintani? No, nah, so so my my ones I got from America, but I I, I think a wrench supplied this. So I'm, I'm not two hundred percent. I'm right. not hundred percent sure what, uh, what what brand they were. So would you say it's quicker than? Uh, yeah, Demos? I actually had a few ones with Demo. So yeah, beat him. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So. But but okay. not by much. But yeah. Yeah, because I noticed with Demo's car, um, his although it's a turbo, these cars are turbocharged. It felt very progressive. Yeah. It was like, uh, it was kind of weird, man, Like, because his car was very quick. He, I watched the videos of him beating a lot of cars, but getting in it, uh, the power delivery was really smooth. So, um, I don't know, yeah. so this one, you, you have to try it for yourself, because it is smooth, but then if you don't get it right, it, it's, it's jerky yeah. at the start. Yeah, okay. I think you just have to catch the power. Yeah, okay, should we jump out, take a brisk spin now? Cool. For young, M4 convertible. Yeah. Ridiculously loud exhaust, right? Yeah. So this is with it off. This is this is with it off. The, so I've, I've got like a, a, a straight straight through um, Army Trix exhaust, and it's it's really really obnoxious when it, when the valves are, are open. Well, yeah. You know, it's, it's it's quite genteel and docile. Like right now, when we're driving it with it closed. Yeah. Expensive exhaust as well, right? Now, yeah. The, you're looking at a 5k plus. Wow. Yeah, these exhausts. What do you reckon best in the market? Not best in the market, but I, I think for for kind of loudness and and as just for like sheer fun and, and just noise, yeah, they they are they are laugh, but yeah, mm. but price wise, for, for what you get, it, it is quite overpriced. I think so I can't even remember what it's like stock because it's, it's been tuned for I've had it about a year now uh, with, with the uh, stage two tuned, yeah. so it's transformed it drastically. What did you own before this? So I owned a uh, E92 325i, so yeah, it's, oh, it's massive, 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 massive yeah, difference yeah, yeah. in power. Purists would say, you know, if, if you got an M4, mm. it should be a coupe. Yeah, I know, I know um, yeah, I have touched on that a few times, but I have to disagree, because this car, I drove DMOs, yeah. and it felt very good, man. You still had the full M dynamics, you know. Obviously, yeah, if you're driving back to back, you probably will notice yeah. the small difference. Yeah, man. That bloody pushes down the road, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> Sounds nice, isn't it? There's induction noise, is there? Yeah, so the induction noise on it, you can hear. You get like a nice. Wow, that's. Uh, what is it pushing about 560, you say? Uh, the last time I dyno it, it was uh, 563. Right, where did you dyno it? Uh, at the PPL. Goes through splitters like no tomorrow, so I'm on my fifth 
a little bit just because the car's so low and, and I like the kind of stance on it. But yeah, because you've got the bricks and alloys. Yeah. And uh, I'm sorry, what is it lowered on? It's, it's lowered on uh, IVAC springs. IVAC springs. And yeah. um, I actually got those springs after I watched your video. Oh, alright. <laughs> so, oh, you know, uh, a, a while ago when, uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah, I discovered your channel when you was on probably like two, three thousand followers. Wow, or something. that long, yeah. Yeah, and, and when, when I, I, I saw your one and you said they're probably like the best of both worlds where it's yeah. low enough but yeah. you know still get the yeah, yeah, drivability. Still, yeah the drivability yeah, yeah so but this car like it feels a little bumpy but it does it's not banging is it yeah it's still uh, comfortable pull it with the exhaust on let's see what it's okay. like with the exhaust let's move it on. about when you're pushing these cars really hard yeah it's nice to have a real firm grip um, but I don't know you know you know it's just personal preference to be honest it looks looks wicked and it feels nice I'm so used to it that the I I barely even look at the the uh, instrument panel yeah, that does sound nice man wow doesn't feel turbocharged one bit no? that is like no Aggressive, yeah. Immediately, uh, just like DMOs, to be fair. This is just a uh, 2015, so right. I've had L LCI lights put, put on, that, on, yeah. on the rear. And uh, are you enjoying ownership so far? Are you plan to keep it? Yeah, no, I, I really like it. And the thing is, I daily drive it anyway, so you know, it's it's, it's just a little bit of fun for yeah. me because because uh, I work like long hours and right. you know, so I get to wreck it early in the morning yeah. and late at night coming back home. Yeah. <laughs> and exhaust does massively add to the experience. Yeah, the they don't have a uh, great noise. Well, you know, a lot of people complain about the noise, but in my opinion, M cars are beyond their sound. Yeah. So accurate, man. I love that heads up display. Man, that's crazy, man. I think, yeah, I think with these HDB tuned cars, they're good maps, aren't they? Because they feel very progressive. Yeah. Very progressive. But that doesn't feel turbocharged, it's instant. Instant throttle response. Oh, that sounds crazy. <laughs> I live, you know, in South East London where you can't even do, you know, you've got, you live around here and you've got yeah. all these like really nice windy roads to yeah. kind of push Appreciate it. it yeah. 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 I mean, look, you don't even have to rev this car around. It's, that sounds really nice in the front, you know that? It's literally going. Yeah, 
yeah, it's really weird. So, so it's got uh, the SSR intakes, and yeah, it's just it just makes it this really nice sound. And the pops right, and bangs that good. does it for me. Definitely tell happy, you can feel how light yeah. that rear end feels. Yeah, that's shit. The thing I'm taking away from this car is how NA it feels. Yeah. And I mean, obviously people like that turbocharged feel and it does feel turbocharged quick. Yeah. But it feels so smooth in the delivery. Yeah, the which means that. Linear. That's a good thing, I'm saying that in a positive yeah. way as well, by the way. Um, it feels, yeah, NA, man. I said this about DMO's car. Look at that. That's, that's crazy, man. That is crazy. Love the sounds as well. <laughs> Comfortable, you know. Mm. It's a possible car, you know. A lot of people are wondering what I bought at the moment. And, uh, this car come out all the time because the car's so loud, it just everyone looks and it all scared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, it's the first time actually me noticing the difference with this being convertible. Yeah, there definitely is a tiny bit more play, but then you've got the springs, you've got the wheels, you've taken it out of its factory mode. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, so it could even be the wheels, you've got those big wheels as well. But it feels very dynamic, very M car like. For the experience, you still get that M car like right about yeah. now. I can feel it moving a bit. Yeah, man. Yeah. Wicked. You know, I'd spend any money on it, maintenance wise. Um, everything's been fine. Everything's been fine on it. I mean, you know, the, the, a few little niggles, but that, that's that's through BM, BMW warranty. But, you know, it's nothing that I could think of. Really, except for just replacing like this, this and pads and stuff, but that's just due to wear and tear more than anything. Yeah. Alright, so guys, I'm gonna end the video there. Remember, as always, to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and also consider subscribing if you're new. Uh, Ying, do you have any social media that you want to plug? Yeah, you could follow me on Instagram on new and 79D. So I'll leave your all the links in the description. Cheers. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.